Hey guys, it's Tanner with the video. Today I'll be bringing you a city update. Now I haven't done one of these in, I think maybe a month. I'm not sure, I'd have to go back and look, but it's been a while, it's been some time, and that's because the city has been undergoing a ton of changes. Like, completely different. The city is completely different. I literally took the entire city apart piece by piece, I threw all the buildings on the floor and rebuilt it from scratch. So we are back, we have the city here and it's been a very fun build. I've very much enjoyed doing the city again over and I I think it's come out really good. I mean, there was a, a couple trials I did with some different road designs and different stuff like that and building placement, but this is this is the one and I, yeah, I'm I'm really happy about this. Uh, it's not like the most advanced building techniques because I'm not really building any structures. It's more just planning and kind of throwing in buildings where I would like them. But yeah, I've I've really enjoyed this. So let's hop into this right now. This isn't going to be too, too long of a video. If you want me to do a more in-depth video, um, I can, but I'm just going to do a quick run through of the city and kind of an overview of showing what's going on. So here is the city yeah it looks way more full compared to what it did before before there was a lot of area over on this side that was very empty and there wasn't a lot of like plates and different things done there and this city i mean we're only missing this when it comes to plates and and building stuff so yeah we've added a military base so i'm very glad about that and we did subtract a police station and so what i'm going to do is kind of like this universe, I guess, or like this storyline type of like situation here is back when I used to do Lego Wars, there was like the city was one group and then there was like the people on the floor, which are all of like the people down there. You can see the police station is now down there. And so there's going to be a branch of police that are down there enforcing the city's law down below on kind of like the area where the people on the floor are. But I just wanted to remove that police station because it's very hard to fit in here. It just, it's a weird kind of like shape and setup. And just like there's a situation with the parking garage in that like there's something where you're supposed to be able to shoot the police car out of the garage and it's like sticks out of the back kind of weird. It doesn't really go very well on the table. So I just removed it. Um, maybe I'll see if I can fit it in somewhere one day, but probably not. I'll probably be leaving it out. But this is the city. So as you can see, it's basically done. I still got to do all this, obviously, but all the main portions are basically done. There's only a couple little minor things that I have to do. And then maybe just some additions throughout like the future and kind of like making things look a little more detailed and a little better. But for now, this is what it's looking like. And I, I'm really, really happy with it. So we will start down here. I guess we'll start in kind of the destroyed section. This area, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with. I might do uh, some grass and maybe do um, kind of like a park area, but I'm not sure. It'll depend on what I find that I have in my Lego room that would make the most sense to put here. And um, yeah, it's really just a we'll see type of thing. Uh, we got the trees, they'll go in this area somewhere. And we got those guys. That's I. These are actually the criminal vehicles, but I kind of, make them as kind of like construction vehicles. So they just sit there, I got some parts. And then this is like a display stand for the, the poly bag of the McLaren Elva. And it's kind of supposed to be like a display of the McLaren Elva. And then it's not like the, the regular version, but it's like a mini version to kind of show people like a miniaturized, more display version of what the Elva could be. But That'll probably go there at some point once I fill in that area. I do have some more plates, not a ton. This is all that I have left. I used to have two full pig brick cups of green plates, but those have all been used, as you can see. Um, and yeah, we got the little bus stops here just for, you know, people to come here if they got to get picked up by the bus, which there is a station over there, which we will get to. But yeah, we got... Uh, some lights lined down here. I'd like to get two more lights to put in this section here, but again, we'll see. It's kind of just like, I'm glad I had enough parts to kind of do as much as I wanted to. So 
for now, this is what the city will be like. Um, I did order a BrickLink order and there will be a few little parts in there just for things that I kind of want to touch up and clean up in here a little bit. Uh, just some tiles for like the roads, like here we're missing tiles on the road. Um, but I did order some tiles to fill in those gaps and just simple little stuff like that. And we'll move over here to the military base. It's pretty simple. There's no structures or buildings in here. It's more of just a staging area for military vehicles. And um, one day maybe I'll add some sort of like structures, maybe like a entry gate or something over here because all I just did was put the SWAT guys there just because that's where it made the most sense for them to go. I didn't know where else to put them. Could have put them in front of the police station, but uh, there's just a lot of cops over there already. So I just put over here by the military base just to uh, block it off in case someone tries to, you know, be a little weird. But we got some of the Humvees over here. I used the, um, uh, what are they called? The speed bumps from the road plates. I used them as kind of like parking spots or like there's the little like longer stones that uh, like parking lots will have for cars to go in for like the edge of the spots. And yeah, we just got some military guys dotted out throughout. We got the president there. It's kind of the best place to put the president. He doesn't really have like a specific area that he kind of goes. I, I mean, I would like to have some sort of like presidential like building or some sort of government facility or something. But I mean, the police station is kind of that, but doesn't really have a ton of space inside. And so I'm kind of stuck on that. And I mean, I'd have to buy parts and do a whole like build and some sort of like new building that's not like already here. So that's the only issue is I don't really have the parts to do that, uh, at least right now. But again, like a lot of things, we will see because there's no guarantees, to be honest. I've said that I want to buy city parts many times in the past and that has not come true. But yeah, we have just... Some more military stuff here. We got sandbags lining the edges, just in case, again, there's some sort of attack or, you know, it's a military base. Of course, they're gonna have sandbags. Uh, we got some transport trucks, a few tanks, and then I was able to put some helicopters up here. Uh, that police helicopter, he has been looking for a place to go for a while, so finally he has a home. And uh, yeah, just some SWAT guys and more military back in there. And I do know my shadow is kind of getting in the way, but I can't really do anything about that with these lights. Uh, then let's see, yeah, we just got some cars on the side. Then we got this small little section right here. Let me sit down on my chair, maybe get my shadow out of the way. We got this little section here where this greenhouse is actually from a Harry Potter set of Hogwarts. Uh, it's from my cousin, it's an older Hogwarts. I think it's the second Hogwarts that they made back sometime late-ish 2000s. Um, but I'm not entirely sure, but that I put in here because it's really the only full build from that set. I never actually completed the set because it didn't have really any like full builds of the actual buildings because a lot of them were missing a ton of pieces, but this one has most of the pieces, so I keep it around and it's in here, it has its home here, and there's kind of like a construction like center over here. I didn't really know what to do over here. Didn't have anything to put there, so I just had a lot of like old boxes and random tool looking stuff. So I just threw them over there. And so we will move over here. We have this little like coffee shop area, kind of like a rest area. Got a couple cops over there. I don't actually have any like citizens or any people in the city just yet. I still gotta throw them in, but that'll probably be at a later date cause it's actually kind of late right now. Uh, but yeah, here we have the bus station. We have the bus over here actually right now. We got some cops over here just patrolling the area. And we have some just cars parked here. Again, there's no citizens yet. So technically there's these cars don't actually belong to anyone, but they're here. And again, we got the speed bumps as those little parking stopper things. And then we got a guardrail. It's not like the best looking thing ever, but I think it gets the job done. I didn't know what the hell to do with these parts. They were like, I had one of each, so like they were taking up a container. So I just removed them, threw them in the city because yeah, it's a way to get rid of parts. Uh, then we got just a bench area. We got a little boom box over here, I guess. And we got a, a little like plain radar dish. We got like a generator back there and some electrical stuff. We got the Octan sign because right over here is the Octan building. And if you own this set, you do know that there is an opening on the back, but I did build a wall there just to keep 
that nice and flush. Uh, like the back of the fire station doesn't have a wall, but you can't really see back there anyways. So I've kind of just counted that off as, you know, we'll just leave it. Uh, but yeah, speaking of the fire station, we got that right over here. Uh, I did organize it a little differently compared to where like the instructions have it. So I separated the garages from like the main section and I lined them on this kind of corner of the street. We have a cop up there just in case there's some sort of attack or something. With all the security, there probably would never be an attack on this city, but you never know. But yeah, the fire station is looking pretty good there. I'm very happy with its location, and it, it, it fits well there. The fire station was always a worry of mine of fitting it in the city, because it's just kind of like a weird shape with the long garage and then the different uh, styles and shapes of the other garage in the main building. But it fits in there pretty well, in my opinion, so... We'll go, we got the gas station here. This section, I actually need to put in a couple more of these like lined tiles uh, from the road plate set just to fill in those gaps. Um, Cause I didn't like fully tile this. Like technically this is supposed to be road, but I didn't fully tile it just because tiles are expensive. I don't have a ton and yeah, it's just it worked best for the situation that I'm in. And over here, we have the area that I am the most proud of and the probably my favorite area of the city. It's the police station and the hospital area. So we'll start back in the corner with the hospital. We have a couple ambulances back there. I did, again, like I'm going to do for the gas station, I did use like the line pieces there, just as kind of like a marker of where like cars should not be and that that is a specifically designed area for ambulances to go. Um, I did have a, a couple actually, uh, like of the tile big plates uh, from the set. I had three left over, so I was able to use those to put in as some areas to park some cars. We got some police cars and we got one of the ambulances. Then we have this kind of sidewalk area back in here to get over the hospital. We got the helicopter down there, got some cops over here. And uh, yeah, we got the sidewalk kind of going all through there. And I'm, I really actually like that. It looks like very geometrical if that makes sense like a lot of like uh, squares and different shapes so I kind of like that look and here we got the police station it always looks good this is my favorite police station they've ever made I really think this one looks really really good I think they knocked it out of the park with this one there probably will never be a police station this good any ever again because the the newest ones are not that great in my opinion that's why I don't get them anymore but Anyways, we have the front area over here. It's just a grassy area, just, you know, because that's kind of what, you know, you do. You, you have grass because grass looks nice. Um, we got some sandbags there. Uh, we got a 50 cal in there. And because it's green, I kind of like him putting it of like an, a monument that could be used if it needed to be. But it's just like, it's there. It's kind of like a little design. It, it, this city is supposed to be like a war-torn type of city to where like they 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 almost have like PTSD from past wars and so they've just like beefed up too much on military and police so that that's the state of this city but we got the cell tower over here yes I definitely made sure to include this thing back in here it's a little uh, precarious because it's so tall I don't want it to fall over but you know I guess if it falls over. I'll get to rebuild it. Yay. Uh, but yeah, then we just got a little radar gun over here with this guy, uh, making sure all the traffic is coming in here correctly. And we're speeding through the main downtown center. And uh, yeah, this downtown center is packed full of cars. There's a lot of cars I'd throw in here. And I kind of wanted this section of the road to be more or less empty because this is a downtown center and anyone who lives in a town or a city that has like a downtown site of sort of area those areas are usually the most packed with cars and kind of the entry and exit areas of road are a little less crowded because everyone wants to be in the center of town uh so yeah there's just less cars here and i kind of like the look of with like these lights here i think it looks like a pretty cool entrance coming in here let's get a look at that down there yeah i really like this view that was part of my reason of going with this kind of like T intersection, like road. And I, I think it looks really cool. You got like the tanks off on like that side there and we got the lights. I, I think it looks really, really cool. And I think it has a very good 
aesthetic, at least from this side. So let me actually try something. I, I actually haven't tried this, but those lights are glow in the dark. Let's see. Oh, you can't see anything. What the? Wait, can I? I can like barely see that they glow myself, but the camera cannot. <laughs> that's, uh, that's unfortunate. That was way less eventful than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, that is going to finish up this city update here. The Lego room is kind of a mess. That's why I haven't really been showing it. Um, it needs to be cleaned up because there's been a lot of action with building the city. But yeah, that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you like the update on the city. Comment down below your thoughts on the city and what you might want me to do in this area or anything that you have to say about the current look of the city. And subscribe to the channel for more Lego stuff and just, uh, I don't know, anything. So yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. I very much enjoyed building the city and I will see you in another video.